Thank you to the chairman, to the ranking member, and to our witnesses for your time uh, being before us today to discuss yet another manufactured culture war that has nearly nothing to do with the critical issues facing our country's financial systems. Unfortunately, we are here relitigating the same arguments over an unrelatable SEC rulemaking when we should be working on the issues that actually matter to our constituents. The majority seems wholly uninterested in tackling the hard questions that we face as a nation today. Anyone who's been to my district knows that the number one issue we face is the high cost of housing. To, to show just how dire this crisis has become, I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record a January article from the Las Vegas Review Journal titled, Las Vegas Home Prices Going Up Five Times Faster Than Wages. Without objection. This article outlines the particular painful point that according to recent Zillow data, from 2011 to, to the end of 2022, home price growth in Southern Nevada has far outpaced wage growth in the same time frame. It is such a pressing crisis for folks in my state because Nevada led the country over that time frame with an astounding six-fold increase in the ratio of home prices to wages six-fold over an 11-year period. However, this should surprise no one, given that Nevada is already short approximately 80,000 units of housing that is affordable, and the volume of home sales has bottomed out at their lowest since 2008. These are real challenges that demand real solutions, and yet my colleagues across the aisles, aisle have none. The housing legislation that they've posted for our most recent markup would have nothing to do to address these skyrocketing costs. And one bill would actually make it easier for landlords to evict their tenants. Their lack of interest in finding answers to these questions is why we are holding hearing after hearing to debate the merits of climate change instead of debating the merits of the necessary fixes to the housing market that my colleagues and I have advanced. Everyday Nevadans are in the fight of their lives, and unfortunately, they are fed up against some of the wealthiest and sophisticated investors in the country. It's time for us to stand up for the people. I ask unanimous consent to enter into the record a Nevada Independent article titled, It's Time to Take Back Our Housing from Wall Street. Without objection. The reality for our communities is a stark one. As this article points out, Displacement is the norm in our communities. North Las Vegas residents regularly confront exorbitant rates, soaring housing costs, tenant exploitation, and eventually eviction notices. Last year, I had the opportunity to see firsthand just how destructive these abuses can be when I was able to attend an eviction proceeding at the North Las Vegas Justice Court on behalf of my constituents. Out-of-state corporate investors are preying on the most vulnerable among us, and we need broad federal legislation to address the issue and hold these firms accountable for their unfair abuses that they impose upon our communities. But we can only do that, Mr. Chairman, if we hold meaningful hearings to debate the merits of potential solutions. Potential so solutions like My Home Act, which would empower HUD to curb the very worst of the predatory behaviors that we see in the housing market today. Don't take my word for it. Come to my district and hear for yourselves. Stories from people like Katrina Paul. Katrina has been working with her realtor to finally achieve the dream of home ownership. However, she's been thwarted every turn. 18 offers. Katrina has made 18 offers on homes during the recent surge in Las Vegas' housing market, and she has been outbid on every single one. She has been outbid by cash buyer after cash buyer, and through no fault of her own, she is forced to continue to rent an apartment that is too small. Her only dream, like so many across this country, is the dream of finally owning her own home. This story is far too common across Southern Nevada, where hardworking people are stuck making rent payments each month when they should be investing in the equity that helps to build wealth for themselves and their family. 
So for people like Katrina, they will continue to be forced to delay that dream and that wealth if they are ever able to have it come true at all. So Mr. Chairman, I just ask you out of respect for my constituents to prioritize my legislation and those of my colleagues dealing with housing affordability and let's address the crisis that's before our constituents now in this Congress. The gentleman needs to respect the time. I yield back my time.